LeMayhew exiting early, Urshela as well. Both those x-rays negative, but is there anything more you can tell us about those injuries? Yeah, so DJ, it's from, from when he fouled the ball off his knee uh, the other night. And uh, it was obviously okay to play yesterday. Moved, moving good, stole a base, and then today was fine. And it just kind of started to stiffen up on him. So we just got him out of there. Uh, you know, we we think that's all it is. You know, he had his X-rays. We'll MRI it on the off day, and he'll see the orthopedist. But um, yeah, just just hopeful. It's just something that stiffened up on him in, in the day game. Um, Urshela obviously got smoked really good on the hand. Um, X-rays were negative, so um, just kind of a day-to-day -day thing. So obviously the off day uh, coming at a good time for us, and hopefully hopefully we avoided some some serious injuries with them. You said LeMay, who's going to get an MRI as well? Is there concern on your part that it could be more than than just? Um, no, I, I think it. I think it's a deep bruise that kind of residual up the IT band and stuff. So that that's the hope. But we're going to certainly, uh, obviously, make sure of of, of everything. Ramon seemed to be cruising and then obviously ran into trouble. Did he fatigue in that inning? I don't think he fatigued. I think he just made some mistakes, especially with two strikes. Um, you know. Pilar, um, Sandoval, both guys there where he's got two strikes on him where he needs to expand a little and he, he misses on the plate and they got him. So I don't really know if it was fatigue more than just making some mistakes when he had a chance to put away some guys. You know, obviously Belt dumped the one out and left. Um, you know, he had the walk to start things, a little uncharacteristic, but um, for as much as he was cruising, a little surprised that um, you know, he ran into some trouble there, but it was just, frankly, some, some look, seemed like some two-strike mistakes. We've asked you very Houston's of this again, but uh, when 11 of 13 with so many moving parts, juggling parts, yeah. injuries, and the way you guys have done it. We got good players in that room, and they've all continued to step up and really embrace this thing. And, uh, you know, even today, you know, I mean, we two guys we got to take out for injuries you know no surprise um, Cameron goes in there and, and contributes um, Tyro Strada goes in there contributes um, they've really taken to the next man up they're coming in focus they're coming in ready and uh, and and all doing their job really well and just just proud of how they've rallied around one another a lot of teams would be phased by this, and yet you guys don't seem to be phased. Why do you think that is? I think we got really good makeup in that room. Um, you know, it, it's something that's important to us to have those kind of people, and, and I think we have that in spades in there with, with guys that are tough, that are um, prepared. Um, you know, I, I've always felt with this team, you know, through ups and downs, whatever, I feel like they're really good at, at turning the page. But I think there is a an extra focus right now, just go, with what we're going through. Um, that guys are coming in ready for any kind of role, any kind of situation, and they're delivering. Why have to pitch it there? Um, <clears throat> just felt like we wanted with, with down to two position players and pretty low leverage situation with two outs and nobody on. If we would have had a runner on, obviously we would have gone with Ford there. Um, actually, first and second, we probably would have sent Jay up there to try and get a bunt down. Um, so we were kind of prepared to go either way there, just just holding the position player at that point. So if we needed something late, we had the right left option still between Ford and Rowe, uh, especially with all their lefties down there. Three more hits for the Ford. Just uh... yeah, I mean he, he's. He's a really good hitter um, and, and has obviously really caught fire on this West Coast trip, the power. Um, you know, he's getting off his A swing a lot, but, but really controlling the strike zone. He's been, look, it's, it's what we, we believe him to be, so it's, it's not surprising at all.